In the design of a concrete beam, it's important to develop the shear and moment diagrams, which show the variation of the shear forces and the bending moments along the beam, and then design the reinforcement according to these forces. But it's also important to calculate the support reactions because they may affect the design of other members in the structure. This is Javier Encinas, and today I'm going to show you where to find the support reactions in as deep concrete. When you open as deep concrete and select a calculation for a concrete beam, this is the typical form. This is a typical concrete beam, continuous with five spans, with some concentrated and uh, distributed loads, dead and life, just to illustrate uh, the discussion. The materials, basically uh, concrete F prime C4, and we have some loads and some rebars. But, you know, the design of the beam itself has been covered in other videos. Today I'm going to focus uh, the attention to the support reactions. If we go to the condensed tab, scroll down to the bottom, we're going to see the load combinations here. The load combinations in ASDIP Concrete 4 are per S7 either 0, 05 or 10, 16 for both factored and service loads. It's important to note that the service loads are represented by a dark red hexagon and the factor loads are represented by a black circle. If we go to the graph diagram tab, we're gonna see the beam elevation with the loads, also the diagrams, but also we can see here that the support reactions are reported. These are factor load combinations, and the combination is shown there. You can select the load combination in, in this list, and the program shows the corresponding diagrams and reactions accordingly. Let's go back to at a glance. In this view, we can see the design of the beam. If you see everything with a check mark, means that the ratio passes and uh, the design is okay, is correct. But if you see a uh, uh, red cross means that that particular ratio is not passing and needs, needs attention. In this case, this design is correct. If we go to the condensed tab, we're going to see a more detailed set of calculations in a condensed form. And if we go to the detailed tab, we're going to see a more detailed set of calculations with exposed formulas and also with references to the ACI code. Finally, we go to the graph tab. We want to see the diagrams discussed before and a construction uh, elevation of the beam showing the rebars. Some customers have asked about the support reactions for the service load combinations. If we go to the condensed tab, we're going to see this section, this support reaction section. This is a new section in ASDIP Concrete 4, but it's also new the fact that we are reporting the support reactions for the service load combinations, which are the uh, red uh, hexagons, and also the factor load combination, which are the, uh, the black circles. So we have two numbers for each support reaction. The first number is red, so it's a, a service reaction. The second number is black, so it's a factor reaction. So in this table, we can see the support reactions for both service combinations and factor combinations. Why is that important? Well, as I said, because maybe you, you need the, the service combinations to design your foundations or the supporting members, uh, which will be designed in ASD, and maybe you need the factor load combinations uh, reactions for the design of other members that uh, are designed following the strength design method. So both reactions are reported in, in the current version of FASDIP uh, Concrete, which is a very handy and very useful information already. If we go to the condensed report, we're going to see that the support reactions are also reported there uh, for both uh, service and factor load combinations, and also the shears, moments, reinforcement design, 
deflections, load combinations, and also the images uh, regarding the diagrams. If we go to the detailed report, we're going to see also a pre-formatted report with all the information, including the formulas and references to the code, including also the images for the diagrams. So the new version of ASDIP Concrete, which is ASDIP Concrete 4, includes uh, the report of the support reactions for both uh, service combinations and factor load combinations. Thank you for your attention and uh, see you in the next video.